Hi, in this video, let's talk about concurrency modeling. Concurrency is a very important phenomenon in real systems. For system architecture design, it is also of crucial importance to model the concurrency in the simulated environment. There are different approaches to model the concurrency. One is the true concurrency, where the concurrent processes are indeed running in parallel. However, system C uses a different way to model the concurrency, which is called simulated concurrency. With system C, when multiple processes are running concurrently, only one of them is executed at a particular time. However, the simulated time remains unchanged until all the concurrent processes finish their current tasks. Let me show you one example comparing real concurrency versus simulated concurrency. In this diagram, the top subplot is real concurrency. Here we have two processes, process one and process two. Process one takes two seconds to finish and process two takes three seconds to finish. Both are running concurrently. Therefore, within six seconds, process one runs three times and process two runs two times. This is a real concurrency. After six seconds, the simulation finished. The bottom subplot shows how system C models these activities. At time zero, when both process one and process two start, in fact, they are running sequentially. In this example, process one starts first, then comes to process two. But it may also happen the other way around that process two starts first, then comes to process one. The execution order is random. By the end of time zero, System C will advance the simulation time to two seconds, where process one will start to run again, followed by process two, which starts at three seconds. And then it comes to step one again at time four. Finally, at time six, both processes finished and the simulation ends. Now let's take a look at the code. In this example, we declare a system C module with two threads, thread one and thread two. Both are running concurrently as shown in the diagram before. Thread one takes two seconds to finish, thread two takes three seconds to finish, and we let the simulation run for 10 seconds. Let's set a breakpoint here within thread one and a breakpoint within thread two, and run the simulation. You can see we first break at time zero within thread one. Then continue, still at time zero. Now we are inside thread two. After we continue, the simulated time changed to two seconds and we are inside thread one. Then thread two is activated again at time three and so on and so forth until it finished. Okay, by the end, you can see thread one runs at time zero, time two, time four, time six, eight. As to thread two, it runs at time zero, three, six, nine. This is the expected behavior. Okay, hope this video is useful to you. Thanks for watching, bye-bye.